Hey, I did this video last night about a dream that I had yesterday, and it's called that video. And that what was actually said in the dream was that the Catholic Church is a manufacturer of evil. Now, keep in mind, like I said in the video, I don't, re I have really never paid much, much mind to the Catholic Church, to Catholicism. I knew that there were a lot of basic, obvious, um, uh, heretical teachings there, but I never really looked into the church because the church is just so popular. It's like, well, you know, maybe it's not all that bad, but of course I knew it was. I mean, to me, it's just as bad as Jehovah's Witnesses or anything else. The only difference is that they they do believe in the Trinitarian uh, view um, and, you know, exorcism and things like that. But the rest is just so corrupt, and I had no clue. Of course, I did see the video about how in between 19, the 1930s and 1970s, I think it was the Young Turks or whatever, that video, they were in into some other videos where they talk about how the Catholic Church, uh, it was some rude, some, dic some dictator, and he was um, in with the kind of in cahoots with the Catholic Church, where they took like whenever people disobeyed the dictator, he would take their babies, their newborns, and and give them to the Catholic Church um, to give to families, and um, the Catholic Church completely was in on this, and uh, so anyhow. Um, so then, uh, the other thing that I, this is what I want y'all to watch though. Um, Dark Secrets of the Catholic Church, Ex-Nun Confesses. It's a part one and a part two. Part two really gets crunk. And I was just like, wow. You know, it's those things that is just so sad um, of what these young girls go through with the torture and the sexual abuse. And it's just really ridiculous. But it's like they, they are, they manufacture these girls to be like this. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't even heard from the boys' point of view yet. Anyway, but they teach. They're, uh, they're, in, they're um, really indoctrinating these girls without even giving them the word of God. They, they never even get the word of God. So they, you know, they're free to kind of just reign over these young women. They come in as girls, and they just raise them and take them in as young women. So then here it is in part one. Even though part two is really crunk, part one is really a trip because it shows the process of how they pretty much are manufacturing this evil. And how the, the, the you know, and then it, it going into part two and then you really do see, you know, I mean, between part one and part two with all the torture and the, and the, the, um, the rituals, I, it's just really awful. And so then I, I just wanted to say that because this really got to me. I woke up with it on my heart this morning. Like, why is it that this would be in my brain to where I would dream this? And I really feel like the Lord gave me that dream and I wanted to share that especially after I had gotten confirmation from my dad. But then to see this video of this nun, she was, she was in the, she was a nun for 23, she was in it for 23 years. And then she was finally set free from the con, from the convent God, You know, now she speak or she was speaking out. I think she's, is she passed away or something? I think she passed away. I can't remember. Anyhow. So she really just spoke out about it and I guess there were a lot of people unhappy about it according to what she's saying in this in part two um but that she was like she doesn't fear anybody killing her body it's whatever she's gonna preach it until um tell the truth until you know it's her her time to go she said God ain't gonna let nobody take her out until it's her time so I really encourage y'all to watch that if you are a Catholic this is what nuns were going through and probably still go through and, uh, I mean, it's just, uh, it is literally a cycle of evil. It is really, I had no clue. That's why this dream is really tripping me out. And I had to the point where I had to do this video because I had no clue that it was that bad and that they were torturing girls. And I mean, when I say torture, I mean torture. And, uh, and I guess it was to keep them, to instill fear and to hush them. They're, they're the, you know, they're some of these, you know, I, you just got to watch it. Because I can't even go into detail. It's so much. Now, it is kind of long. You got to watch them. One and two. Watch them. If you are Catholic and you just think, oh, it's my Catholic faith and we grew up in this and this. Just because your mama and daddy did it does not mean it's right. <laughs> Mommy and daddy did a whole lot of other things that wasn't right that you know wasn't right. And you're, you're not doing them, are you? Some things, you know. Anyway, so please don't be loyal so don't don't put your faithfulness into an organization of people. Put it into the word of God. Okay? The shed blood of Christ Jesus, his resurrection, and um, 
they do not show love. That's the one thing lacking. It was a lack of love. All of this other stuff is for show. Then they get money from the from the families. These girls, they sign away not only their souls, their lives, it seems like. They definitely sign away their lives. But in blood, actually. Their own blood. They literally, um, like... They, when they get, when they not, so, it's kind of like being sold off to slavery, Ooh. but they, when they go off into the convent or to the, you know, to these nuns or whatever, then they turn right around and they sign a paper giving them whatever their parents would have left them financially because they take this vow of poverty. So crazy. So anyway, just keep that in mind and I will talk to y'all later. Tell me what y'all think. It's just crunk. Anyway, bless those girls and those kids that people in the church not knowing the evil that they're rooted on so talk to y'all later bye